the home care treatment. She will open up the areas of lymphatic drainage on both sides of her collarbone. Lymphatic drainage is important because it helps to drain toxins and moisture from the tissue. Now she will begin by bringing the tool from the chin to the collarbone, bringing it back into that portal of that lymphatic drainage area. Both sides, 10 strokes each side. Then she'll move from the chin out towards the corner of her ears, 10 strokes each side, and down across the neck back to that portal or that area of lymphatic drainage. Next she'll move from the top of her ear towards the side of the face, straight down, all the way down the side of the neck to the collarbone, 10 strokes each side. And now the cheeks. She'll start at the inside of the eye, sliding straight down to the corner of her mouth and to the chin line. From the center of her eye, straight down to the corner of the jaw line, moving to the outer eye, and finally towards the ears. So moving from the inside of the face outward towards the ear and then straight down the neck. Next we move to the forehead, starting at the inside of the eyebrow, moving up across the eyebrow towards the side of her face and up towards the hairline, sliding it back down around the side of her face to the collarbone, both sides, 10 strokes total, from the top of the eyebrow across to the side of the face and down the collarbone. And then the eyes, starting at the inside of the eye, sweeping upward towards the outside of her eye, underneath with very light pressure, and then on top of the brow. Again, 10 strokes each side. You can use a slightly firmer pressure on the eyebrow, but you really don't want to use too much pressure. And And finally sweeping down the side of the face again and ending at the collarbone. This concludes the lymphatic drainage portion. We'll now move to the muscle re-education portion of this facelift. Kathy will start at her collarbone from the center of her neck moving with upward sweeping movements from the collarbone towards her neckline. Up her neckline towards her jaw with sweeping movements, making sure she gets all the way behind her neck. Again, starting at the inside, sweeping upward with the side of the beauty tool. Then she'll move to the chin. She'll move from the lower lip, stroking downward towards the chin, starting in the center, moving outward, 10 strokes each side with medium to light pressure. And above the lip, moving from the center and outward towards the side of her mouth each side. And now we'll lift the cheek muscles. The easiest way to lift the cheek muscles is to create a line from the side of the nose to the inside of the eye, from the center of the crease, from the side of the nose to corner of her mouth, up towards the center of her eye, and then from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the eye. The last portion is from the corner of the mouth to the cheekbone. When you apply the wand, you apply with a lifting, slightly medium to firm pressure, holding the muscle up for 10 seconds. Holding it up from the center of the line between your nose and the mouth, up towards the center of your eye for 10 counts. And then from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the eye for 10 counts. From the corner of the mouth to the cheekbone for 10 counts. And last, Kathy will apply the wand from the corner of her jaw up the side of her ear towards the hairline. Again, holding for 10 counts using medium pressure on all of the points. She'll repeat the same thing on the other side from the side of the nose to the inside of the eye, holding with firm medium pressure for 10 counts. From the nose to the corner of the mouth, holding up underneath the center of the eye for 10 counts. And from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the eye line, 10 counts. And from the corner of the mouth to the cheekbone, 
holding with medium pressure for 10 counts. And from the side of the jawline, lifting up, sliding up the side of the ear towards the hairline, again for 10 counts. Then we'll move to the forehead, sliding from the center of the forehead straight up towards the hairline with medium pressure, sliding from the center to the side of her hairline, and repeating on the other sides, beginning at the center, sliding up to the hairline, 10 strokes each side, and then under her eye, starting at the center of the eye, moving out, starting at the inside of the eye, moving out towards the outside for 10 light strokes, very light strokes, and repeating the eyebrow across the bone, slightly firmer pressure, but still light strokes, and the other side from the inside of the eye, stroking outward to the outside of the eye for 10 strokes with light pressure, and the top of the eyebrow with light pressure stroking from the inside of the eye eyebrow towards the outside corner. Repeating the forehead from the center of the eyebrow, moving outward for 10 strokes towards the side of her head. And the other side starting at the inside of the eyebrow, moving outward towards the corner of her eye, lifting to the top of the forehead line. The third step of the home care facelift is product penetration and fine line reduction. Kathy will begin by applying her serum, Elixir of Youth. She will apply the serum all over her face from her cheeks to her forehead, across the nose, chin, jawline, and neck. Then she will use Smooth Operator. Smooth Operator will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and she will spot treat to the areas of concern. Using her beauty tool, she will gently feather the products into her skin. This will improve the penetration of the products and enhance their effectiveness. This is a very light feathering movement to increase penetration of products into her skin. And finally, she will finish with her Beauty Sleep Night Cream. An alternative to the Beauty Sleep Night Cream is the facelift mask. The facelift mask can be used at um, pressing down and now we're going from this uh, the inside of the eye and the center of the face moving outwards towards the edges of the face and then we'll go from the tip of the chin moving outward and again, down the side of the neck into the lymphatic drainage area. Sometimes the client or the person that you're doing has the need to swallow, and this is the lymph that's being drained through the system and out of the tissue and into the lymph area. So it's important to keep their head slightly elevated while you're doing this procedure. Now let's move to the forehead moving up and ab over the eyebrow, starting at the center of the eyebrow, moving out towards the edges, and then upwards towards the hairline. And again, pressing and pushing that lymph down the side of her face and down the side of the neck into that lymph area. Now we'll use horizontal strokes across her forehead, again, from the top of the eyebrows, heading towards the hairline. And this pressure is very light. The lymphatic system is in the skin, around the skin area. So if you press too hard, you will miss it. Nice light pressure under the eye, starting at the inside of the eye. Light pressure moving outwards towards the outside of the eye area. 10 strokes. And above across the lower border of her eyebrows with very light strokes. If your client is wearing contacts, you may ask them to remove them prior to your treatment. And again, repeating three times under the eyes, around the eyes, and each time you want to press that lymph 
down the side of her ear and down into the lymph area of the, the neck. Next step is the muscle re-education. Kathy will begin with firmer pressure, pressing one side of the collarbone down and sweeping up in an upward motion with the beauty tool up and over the jawline until the lower portion of her face making sure she gets all the way behind the ear. Now be in muscle re-education, you can use firmer pressure on the skin and periodically the skin will show a little redness. This is fine. This is increase in circulation on the skin. So from the collarbone with medium to firm pressure, sweeping up above the jawline and into the lower portion of the face. Also the area right in here it can be very, very sensitive, so make sure you check in with your client to make sure that they're not uncomfortable. How are you, Allison? Okay. Feel good. Okay, good. Okay, and now in order to continue to lengthen those neck muscles, Kathy will begin with the beauty tools in the center of the muscle and again stretching the lower portion downward towards the collarbone and lifting up to the neckline to the jawline with the beauty tool. So the object is to get a nice long stretch of those tight neck muscles. In addition to muscle re-education, we're also improving circulation. So you may see a slight reddening of the area, not to be alarmed. That's actually good. Okay, and now we'll move to the chin area and Kathy will move the beauty tools up and down again to open up those muscles, relax the, the jaw and the chin area. Ten strokes each side with medium pressure. And above the lip, starting at the center, moving outward, scooping across the upper lip to the corner of the mouth. 10 strokes, medium pressure, and repeat it three times. And now we'll move to the cheeks. The cheek muscles are overstretched. So in this situation, what we'll be needing to do is to shorten or tighten or tone those cheek muscles. The easiest way to do this is to divide the face into quarters from the lower border of the nose to the inside of the eye at the eye bone. And then the line between your nose and your mouth, the center of that line, straight up below the center of the eye, the corner of the mouth to the corner of the eye, and the corner of the mouth to the cheekbone. Kathy will begin by finding the belly of the muscle and with the wand pulling it open. She'll do it for nine strokes and then she'll hold from the lower border of the nostril to the lower border of the eye bone, hold that muscle. Again, the motion is a lifted motion. So the lower border or the lower wand it will be lifting as you hold those and holding the top wand stationary to support it. You're sending the zero point energy through the muscles in order to strengthen and tone them. This will be repeated three times on each side. holding, uh, opening the muscle with nine short strokes, holding and lifting in an upward movement with medium pressure. Now we'll go to the side of the neck, opening the muscles or the band of muscles that start at the corner of the jawline and lifting up, holding the second one at the center of the ear Again, lifting up from the corner of the jawline and holding at the center of the ear. We'll repeat this and do it on the other side. Opening the belly of the muscle from the border of the nose in an upward manner, lifting the muscle from the inner eye to the lower border of the nose. Opening the belly of the muscle 
and then holding from the bottom in a lifted upward manner. And then finding the muscle in the center, the muscles at the side of the ear, you're going to hold from the corner of the lower portion of the ear and at the hairline at the center of the ear. Lift and hold for 10 seconds with medium pressure. Now we'll move to the forehead. We'll start at the bridge of the nose by opening the muscle at the bridge of the nose with short strokes, 10 short strokes, opening and lifting from the center, moving outward, and then moving between the eyebrows in an up and outward movement from the center of the eyebrows across the eyebrows to the, on the center of the forehead, 10 medium pressured strokes, and then moving upward from the eyebrow to the hairline, starting at the center and moving outward, 10 medium pressured strokes across from the center of the eyebrow to the outside of the brow, moving from the eyebrow to the hairline. And now the eyes with lighter pressure, starting at the inside of the eye, moving outward to the outside of the eye, sweeping movements, 10 sweeping movements, and then across the bone of the eyebrow, starting at the inside, moving outward. And the forehead again, from the center of the forehead, sweeping outward. And then we conclude the muscle re-education with long, broad, sweeping movements up the sides of the face, starting from